Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So Johan recently sat down on a podcast with Star Wars Theory and Collider's Mark Fernandez to talk about Star Wars and other topics. The following may contain cringe and face palms, so you've been warned. Johan is the DJ for the rock band Linkin Park, who were one of my favourite bands growing up. He's directed multiple music videos for Linkin Park and has also directed one feature film. In that film called More, which you'll see here, he used interesting colour scale and weird transitions. Much like he uses in his music videos, like these. During the conversation about possible future directing projects, What are your plans for directing in the future? Han had this to say. I want to do a lot of things. I want to direct a Star Wars movie. After saying he wants to direct a Star Wars movie, Fernandez follows up with this. Let me ask a Star Wars question. With the way that Star Wars is right now, how would you try to like reshape the film versions of Star Wars like moving forward? Leading Han to give this interesting answer. I would uh, take a cue from the MCU and create a roadmap. What, what are the stories that we want to tell? What are the main arcs that we want to tell? What would be a great ending and how would that lead to another installment? This then prompts Theory to state that the sequel trilogy was disjointed as opposed to a more connected MCU. I think that was a big mistake with the sequels is it just it felt like it didn't connect. Like the MCU feels like everything in the end just like connects together and this one just felt very disjointed. Fernandez then asked Han if he would be interested in keeping the Jedi and the Sith as a center point for his movie. Would yeah. you focus it on stories of the Jedi? Or like, would you keep the Jedi and the Sith at the center of it? In which Han states, Definitely explore the Sith, I would explore the, the dark side. After hearing this answer, Theory asked what Han thought of Order 66. What was your reaction to execute Order 66? Listen to Han's response. What's, what, what is that? What's Order 66? This is coming from someone who said, I want to direct a Star Wars movie. Next, they ask Han what his favorite lightsaber battle was. Uh, Yoda fighting uh, Count Sidious. Dooku. Yeah. Both Theory and Fernandez say different names at the same time, and Han responds yes. Dooku or Sidious? He fights twice. Leaving them both confused and seeking clarification. Which one was first? Dooku. Dooku. Uh, Dooku, yeah, yeah. Fernandez now asks Han if he knows who Ahsoka Tano is, in which he responds with a disappointed no. Do you know who Ahsoka Tano is? No. Fernandez tries to cover for Han, saying you don't really watch Clone Wars. But you don't really watch Clone Wars. However, Han states he did watch one of them and thought it was pretty cool. I watched one of them. That was pretty cool. You would think someone who wants to direct a Star Wars movie would pay more attention to the characters involved in Star Wars. I believe he's referring to the sequel trilogy in this next clip. In the more recent installments, they, they captured the power of the Force in a way that I appreciated where it's difficult to, to master, but once you master it, you can do a lot with it. The Force is difficult to master or it should be, but Mary Ray Sue was able to master things no other Jedi could, and with very little training. Theory then asks which Linkin Park song Han would like to see in a lightsaber battle, in which he produces another disheartening response. I don't know which film it was, but it's, it's from um, the beloved series that Mark loves. The prequels? Uh, where uh, all the Jedi are just running around, they don't look like they know how to fight. That's the best because it's so bad. That's the best because it's so bad, and you want to direct a Star Wars movie. For anyone who doesn't know, he's talking about the Battle of Geonosis in Attack of the Clones. I guess the prerequisite for directing Star Wars movies now is not knowing any lore and hating on the prequels. In the next clip, Han asks about broken sabers and Theory explains the Legends lore. Has, has there been a broken saber? So in Legends, the Sith, uh, they would have these sabers and they actually would break depending on the crystal if the crystal was weak. The Sith could cut through the saber of the Jedi. Han then mentions that Rogue One's choreography, even though apparently nobody watched it, was really good and not like Shakespeare. What was the, the, the spin-off movie that nobody watched? Rogue One. They're actually fighting. Wait, but wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you talking the, about? Lightsabers? Fine. or Lightsabers. Like blasters? Like, like really good choreography. It's not like Shakespeare. He says it had lightsabers, but the only lightsaber we saw was Darth Vader at the end, in the moments leading up to A New Hope. The story in the prequels was more important than just its Shakespearean choreography. From Han's work that I've seen, when he has a good story to work with, like in the song Numb, his shots can complement the music and lyrics that convey the narrative of the songwriter. However, with other videos, the music and singing elevates over the visual aspects of the video, making it irrelevant, so you may as well just close your eyes and listen to the music. If he does end up directing a Star Wars movie, the writing will not only need to include lore, which he clearly doesn't know, but also put it into a fantastic story to accompany the shots that he'll create. The problem though, as we have seen, is the Lucasfilm story group doesn't seem to possess the knowledge or will to present anything that would resemble actual Star Wars stories going forward. I'll leave you with this extended Order 66 clip. 
it's quite awkward and forces a complete subject change from Star Wars theory. Oh boy. What was your reaction to execute order 66? What's, what's, what is that? Okay, I got, I got something for you. Um, do you, you know what Dragon Ball Z is? Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share it around. See you on the dark side.